You're watching The Morning Show on CKWS. Good Tuesday morning to you. Welcome back. One of the few people in our region, I think, uh, who really wants it to be below zero for a good three or four months here is uh, a big supporter of the arts here in Kingston. We have David Dossett from Martello Alley and uh, someone that created Fouad Art four years ago. We are in season four right now. That's great. Uh, good to see you. Um, you want it to be nice and cold. Yeah, uh, so the ice can uh, can <laughs> stick around for a little while and we can enjoy the, the show a little bit longer. Explain Fouad Art. Uh, okay, it started off as a conversation with my wife. Uh, she was doing some, uh, going to be doing some walking around with her colleagues, you know, to keep in shape over the winter. And I said, well, it's a little gray. You know, this is a limestone city, so all, everything is gray practically. And then after Christmas, all the lights come back in. So it's kind of depressing a little bit. Mm. Uh, so I said, it'd be nice if we had an outdoor art exhibit that's kind of spread around the downtown so people can enjoy it. And she said, well, art would get vandalized. And I said, well, freeze it. <laughs> and uh, we came up with this idea. It was kind of flying by the seat of my pants, but uh, here we go. Uh, this is our fourth year doing it. And so you literally encase this art in ice. Yes. Uh, that in itself must be a, a process. But talk about, first of all, you need, you need to get the art. Yeah. Like, where we do you need, get it from? Uh, well, uh, I ask artists, uh, if, if I may, uh, this is... Uh, oh, we're on oh, a the, shot here, yeah. Yeah, the shot that you just saw was the one from last, was one of them from last year. So the art can actually be pulled out after the ice melts. Now this piece that I'm holding up here is a double-sided piece uh, that was just made recently by one of our artists. You notice a little bit different on the other side. It's a normal girl. And one's a sort of yes. elfish. <laughs> elfish yeah. kind of girl. So it's a two-sided piece and, it's in, and we ship it off. We ship uh, 20 of them off to uh, a place called Hensel, Ontario to Ice Culture. It's a company that uh, specializes in this ice and it, it will be encased over a period of four days into a 300 pound block of ice, just like that, yes. So you're not you're not just using your ice cube uh, maker in your fridge like no. crazy. You're actually getting some professionals to encase this in this beautiful, large scale uh, piece that we actually end up seeing outdoors. Yes, I'm just uh, looking at the pictures here. It really is magical. Once you get the pieces in the ice, it really makes them shimmer. It's it's really hard to describe, and you have to see it up close. It's a magical kind of thing. And this is something you created. It's in no other community that we that I know of. Uh, and you have little maps for downtown Kingston where people can do yes. a walking tour to see where these are on display. They could be outside restaurants, mm -hmm. uh, maybe Market Square. Yeah, yeah. We are actually fine. We're, we're in the process of still finalizing this. We are still looking for sponsors, of, of course, because I have to place 20 of them. I, I'm and it's not cheap for the no, size. No, they cost uh, $300 each. I charge $200, and the people who sponsor them get to keep the art after. So it's a pretty good deal, and it, it gets a lot of publicity because you guys love it. Uh, media really, really loves it, uh, and it's great for businesses, and it creates something that's fun for people, and it's free. We have some pictures of the nighttime. Look how mm -hmm. beautiful these are, Shauna. Yeah, the lights really illuminate it, and it is kind of a neat thing. It's, it, you know, you think about a community that for years has done something kind of unique too, like Tweed. You know, if you've ever been through Tweed, they paint their fire hydrants. <laughs> yeah. The oh, yes, yes, I've seen and, stuff. That, yeah. and, you know, there's the thrill of seeing those, and it's, it's, it's the same with this, you know, you can see a new one if you're not doing the walking tour, but you just kind of in your daily, you know, commute mm -hmm. around town, you see one and oh, there's another one, you know, you kind yeah. of take this tally in your head of all mm -hmm. of these uh, great little pieces and, you know, talking to other people. Oh, have you seen this one? Oh, no, I didn't see that one yet. <laughs> uh, who are the artists? Well, uh, I'm just finalizing that. Uh, I, we're, it, it's a very busy time for everybody and we kind of got behind the eight ball on this, but of course I'm one of them. Uh, Kyla, uh, Queen student, she's one of them. Laura Moreland will be doing one again. Uh, she's been doing doing it regularly. Uh, let's see, uh, Tully. Uh, yep. I, you know Tully. Singer songwriter. Yes, I think he's doing two of them. Uh, we have several artists at Martello Alley who'll be doing this, and we've also opened it up to. Uh, two students from the Kingston area where uh, and we've extended the contest. This is a great idea. Yeah. Why don't you explain this contest? Uh, well, we thought why not get the public even more involved by getting uh, um, a high public and high school students, uh, you know, primary and high school students involved. So we have a little contest. We've extended it uh, because it's a busy, busy time. We've had some entries so far, but there's still time to enter. Just go to Martello Alley, uh, our website, and you can see about us. Uh, 
you can get a link to the information or call us or drop in or contact us through Facebook or social media, other social media and, uh, and submit a little sketch and uh, get involved in the contest. And maybe yours will be frozen in a block of ice and displayed at Martello Alley. Which is why he wants it to be very cold this winter. Because That's you right. don't want it to be yeah. like above 10 for no. like a three weeks straight. We need some cold. But it takes a while for this ice to melt, though. It'll it, last a while. It, it usually does. That's 300 pounds. And it's because it's so dense, it's very clear and it's very dense. As you said, it's, it's not like your ice cube type of ice. Yeah. It has to be, it's a very special process. So the water has to move over it over several days. So, yeah, it's quite mm -hmm. neat. Fascinating. When are we going to start seeing them? Well, I was thinking of uh, the first week of uh, weekend of uh, February, but then FebFest has been kind of changed a little bit this year. So we're thinking of uh, the second week of weekend of February. It's very difficult because I can't sort of wait until a very cold day to put them out. When they're delivered, they have to be put out. We are not very flexible on the delivery date, so it's kind of a, uh, a bit of a crapshoot. Yep, you, you wait know. and see. Yeah, so we're hoping it's going to be a cold day when we and, and a cold stretch for when we place them place them down. Love it. All right, thank you. thank you, David, and we look forward to Foie d'Art 2018. Thank you very much for having me. All right, we'll be back.